last weekend uh, I worked on this project with the camera tripod and uh, in the end of the weekend I did a dry fit, as you call us as woodworkers, uh, to see if it all works together uh, and not using glue. Not the case here, but at least see that this works. Uh, and it did, but not all the way. Uh, I have some manufacturing flaws to take care of. Uh, these parts, uh, on these two parts, are a little bit too wide and half a millimeter too wide, so they do not fit 100%. They not go all the way down. Uh, so I think I'm just going to place them up in the mill and take off two mi and a half a millimeter of them. That's quite easy. And the other part that I found out was that I designed this part uh, that the height of this thing going to be two millimeters. Uh, and because this material here is two millimeters. And uh, that would work fine if I would have made the uh, square nuts myself. But then I found out that I had these nuts in um, uh, my good to have box. The only problem that I didn't foresee until I put things together uh, was that these nuts is done in the same way as my idea with this one so they go go up and you cannot see it here but uh, I'm gonna put in a close-up picture uh, they go up a bit that mean that these two gonna meet and they're not gonna lock around this material so they're gonna be a gap and then it moves so I need to take off this this part uh, this this part here uh, probably gonna do it in the mill uh, if I don't figure out some other clever quick way to do it. Uh, the other thing that I knew about, uh, but I need to think it through a little bit more, is that the length of this bolt is too long. So it's simply when I tighten it up, the bolt goes down and button out in the material. And that of course is not a good thing, and as, again it doesn't get tight. Um, so I need to shorten these bolts. And shorting a bolt is normally rather easy. You put it up in the vise, put some uh, nuts uh, on the side where we want to keep, cut it up, take the nuts up and, and protect the uh, threading. Uh, I cannot put this in a vise because I'm, I'm not going to destroy the plastic. plastic. Uh, so, um, this part is too long, uh, so uh, I just need to cut it off. And, and the simpler way is to, if this would have been an, an ordinary bolt, uh, basically, since this sh uh, shortened out in the groove, I need to cut it off. And the simplest way with the bolt is just to put the nut on, put it up in a vise, take a hacksaw, cut it off, take the nuts off and then you have protect the, the threading. I cannot do this in this case because if I tighten this down in the in, in the vise I'm going to destroy the plastic uh, and I also want to keep all at the same length. Uh, so and I only need to cut off round about five millimeters so I cannot put the scrap part in the vise either. Uh, so I need to figure something clever out there and, and I am not all the way there yet, so uh, but I'm gonna show how, how when I turn out how, how to do it. Uh, so let's get to it and uh, correct some mistakes, and um, hopefully, we can go on and work on the wheels. Uh, there's the funny thing uh, last weekend, I thought when I was closely down, turn the lights off, I thought, oh no, I'm almost ready. I was gonna see if I had anything that I had missed when I put things together, and then I realized. Oh, the wheels, I haven't thought that through. I had it in my drawing, uh, the drawing of the whole tripod, uh, but I forgot to do any detail drawing and, and never thought it through. Uh, but um, we're coming to that. Uh, so let's, let's fix the flaws that I have created last week. Again. I have decided to put the nuts up in the vise in the milling machine to take off that half a millimeter, 0.7 something. Uh, so, let's see. 
I just put two of them on a parallel. Uh, I will see if I can take more, but this is the two that has a lock spring that keep them in place. Uh, the other ones that I use gonna should be sliding easy, so I'll take off that uh, locking uh, thing. Uh, so let's see if this works, uh, if it stays in the white vise or they're just gonna escape. I had a little bit of hubris and uh, tried to put all the seven nuts of the rest of them up in the vise. Uh, two of them was maybe 10 for millimeters a little bit shorter so I couldn't grip them uh, so I'll take that in a second go but these five turned out perfect and um, so we're on a good way good way so I figure out a way to cut the bolts uh, in a good manner and uh, just say hello to the most over engineered fixture of all time and uh, this is actually, I had part laying around, uh, so it's just finding the right stuff and even the M6 hole was in the right dimension, uh, so I just put it up and I can adjust it so I can cut all the bolts in the same length and I hope it would work. Uh, in, if so, I'm gonna get all bolts the correct length and nice tidy cuts. So, let's give it a try. So, uh, now I have marked out four pieces uh, that's going to hold the wheels to uh, the aluminium profiles and I plan to, let's see if we can get it in focus, uh, I plan to cut it up in the bandsaw. Uh, I have left some room in between the pieces and um, to make sure that uh, the bandsaw blade that I do not fail. So I have to take the last part either in the mill, but I believe I'm just going to use the hand file to put them into correct dimensions. And also I could see this complete project is leftover parts. So this is just aluminium plate that I believe have been used together with this aluminium profile. I do not remember to hold some instrumentation in a custom made system that was later rebuilt and at that point instead of throwing the parts out in the scrap heap uh, I took care of them and now they come to good use. So let's use the bandsaw and hope for the best. Uh, all four of all four of these pieces are cut into rough dimension. Uh, I could keep the line much better than I thought with the bandsaw, so um, I'm just going to file these four pieces into dimension, drill the hole, uh, round off the corners, and uh, then they are done, I believe. Uh, so, see you. So you people that do not have a young eyes of 20 years old or even younger, uh, when I was younger I had no problem following a uh, scribed line like this, but now I can simply, hard to see it, and I can focus for a short period of time, but wearing a piece of this um, it's makes it very much easier. And I take, try to make strokes that is diagonal and also moving the file on this direction instead of filing like this. And in that case you're gonna just get it uneven. So if I make it like one stroke, uh, I have 
a much easier way to to follow the line and get the nice sharp straight side on this piece. And I using a rubber rough file and take a couple of strokes with a final one to get the nice surface and don't forget to clean the files uh, otherwise you don't get that nice surface that you want. So now I have done four pieces. I use the same trick as <coughs> for the bigger parts. I use the a washer and uh, just scribe a radius in the corner, file it into dimension, uh, taking off the burr in the different hole, making six and a half millimeters uh, so there is some play for the lock nuts down to the profiles, and then or countersinks M4 that's gonna hold the wheels like like this. See? Yeah. Uh, so then I'm gonna treat these uh, the same way as the other pieces, clean them with alcohol, polish them up and uh, run them in the dishwasher because that turned out to give them a nice oxide surface that protects them. So then I believe, last famous words, then I might be done. Uh, so then I'm going to just put together, uh, figure out and start looking for a small monitor that I can also fit to this stand. Now the complete tripod is done. Uh, I have this part that could easily moved up and down, quickly locked in place. Uh, I've stolen this part from a, 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 another tripod that you buy in the store. Uh, by loosening these two, I can just pull this up and uh, get it into a small package I can put in the, in the car or whatever. Uh, same thing here, uh, untype these four slide this out and um, then I have uh, the wheels mount uh, that's fitting into the profiles. Let's see if we do it like this. Uh, they are fixated with uh, uh, bolts and this have a different nut in them. Uh, the ones I have used for the other parts that you have seen me in, in the workshop, there are slides in. These ones fit in the grooves, but when the, you tighten them, they turn 90 degrees, and then of course they cannot fall out because they are not square. Uh, so that means that I can tighten these, take them out, and put them in, tighten them, and, and put them in any place I want. Uh, so that makes it easy to replace with the longer or shorter beams or, or profiles, move the wheels over. Uh, so, this camera tripod is ready to use and to be easily moved around. Uh, if I should do any fancy camera movement, uh, I definitely put, should put other wheels on that are softer, so stop the vibration, and this makes some sounds. But I have a good good tripod, I can move around, I can take a picture from the high, a picture from the low. Very happy about it. So, thank you for watching, see you in my next video.